Shout out to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. This episode's FDR shout out goes to Adonis Pio. Leave a comment down below to have a chance for a shout out in the next episode. Make sure you're subscribed. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a Fish for Thought video. Yes, it's Monday. I remembered it's Monday and not Sunday. Question, are you ever going to let that go? To be honest, most of you probably don't even know about this and I'm just bringing it back for some reason. All right, Cory Gang Fish fam, here we are again. To start your week off just right, we got Fish Tank Review. How to look after pets in 1896. This still happens today. We covered, we literally had one of these exact TikToks, but in modern day. To be completely fair, that fishbowl is actually bigger than the fishbowls that we use today. How sad is that? 1896, huh? Did goldfish exist in 1896? Regardless, these are probably not goldfish. They might be just indigenous fish that were caught in their rivers, in, in the locality. It's just crazy to me how things haven't changed that much. I mean, there's much worse fishbowls out there now too, so. Sheesh. Curse approaches you. Ignore, talk. Okay. Want to know some facts about axolotls? No, not really. <laughs> well, you have any pets? You tell Chers that you have a betta in a bowl. He seems speechless. You leave me with no choice. W why is there boss music? <laughs> to give you a one out of five. Oh my gosh. This is one of the greatest memes of all time. Um, thank you, Vin. One of our Discord members, Bodhi Kajir, Bodhi Care, maybe the J is silent, sent in this very naturalistic looking tank. Oh man, I'm, I'm, I'm really feeling this kind of tank. You know me. Look, we got the naturalistic wood and it's not like scaped that much. It's just kind of thrown in there. I'm sure there's deliberate thought into that, but it keeps things natural, okay? It looks like some roots from a tree just dipped into the river system. Plants embedded throughout. There are round river rocks. Again, this is like a river sort of system. And then we got a very natural looking substrate. Probably got some nutrients in it. There's java ferns, there's swords, some anubias in the back. Double species tank of rosy barbs or cherry barbs and harlequin rasboras. And it's not overstocked. It's simple, it's natural. 4.9 out of 5, keep it up. Four koi and a pleco in a 50 gallon? Why are they lined up so perfectly there? Like they're just waiting for death. Hey, you go first. We're all gonna die one day and in this tank it's gonna be pretty quick. There was an attempt at like aquascaping, I guess. There's like a split substrate going on. Pretty weird if you ask me. I have absolutely zero idea what the owner is thinking. This tank might be good for maybe one of those fish, maybe even not, because this is not adult sized, guys. It is small, I'm hoping it's a temporary winter setup. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. It's not the best, but I guess it's not permanent. Sadly, no. Okay, dreams shattered, got you, got you fam. That was quick, at least make it easy, painless. Cowboy emojis, okay, that is a huge fish. 100% it cannot turn around without struggling a lot. Oh, there's that pleco, always camouflaged until you see it. The all white one has seen some things. The white one is one sexy koi though, damn he's huge. Body Magikarp now has Gyarados. Pretty sure that's still just a shiny Magikarp. Not sure about the stomach situation, either being really overfed and eating way too much, or he's just got some swim bladder or bloating problem. Either way, I'm not surprised. <laughs> Maskin Valorant sent in this beautiful, amazing tank, and that is a pretty darn awesome carpet. You got CO2 going on, I see a drop checker in there. The corner heavy scape going towards the left of the tank, really clean glass rimless looks like a species tank of maybe ember tetras it's too far away to tell five out of five keep it up poor little betta being used as a wedding centerpiece with burning candles in the vase why do i feel like i've seen this one before are they just being used this frequently what is the allure what are you trying to go for i want to make a stupid joke about how at least this one betta that actually has a heater but oof no just no can someone please make sure this couple getting married never has kids? They might leave them in a hot car or let them take naps in the refrigerator. Their marriage will probably be shorter than the fish's lifespan. Bro, y'all are so savage and I'm with it. Hi, cheers. Hey, nothing says I love you like fish abuse. <laughs> 
Nothing says savage than these reddit threads. Can't imagine what the melted wax does to the water. Yeah, same. And what happens to the guy after the wedding is over? From what I've seen, they expect the guests to take him home. Always happens with these use live fish as tabletop event decor. I remember stopping by a dollar store and a lady was buying a bunch of the small glass containers to do something similar for her daughter's birthday party. She said the guests would take them home. Do they just willy-nilly give out something that you have to take care of or else it dies? Usually there are a few tables that will just not take the centerpiece home. Hey, if this person can burn actual candles on top of the water, float it on top of the small little fish bowl face fish vase, I'm sure they'll just all the same flush that fish down the toilet if nobody takes it home. What is the difference there for them? Raphael Freitas. Beautiful corner heavy scape filling out the tank using the real estate. It's free real estate. Might as well use it. Double species tank of glow lights and neon tetras. An attempt at a hair grass carpet perhaps. Might have some corridoras or some sort of catfish down there. Beautiful. 4.7 out of 5. Boy, you guys oh yeah, the black background is very nice. 4.75 out of 5. Boy, you guys are getting high scores this time. And let me just clarify a few things. It's not because I feel happy that day that I'm giving out higher scores. I'm usually feeling about the same when I film an FTR and a good fish tank is not suddenly worse because I'm feeling worse. If anything, it cheers me up. Oh, and one more thing. For those of you asking, I wish he'd tell us how to or where to submit our fish tanks. It's the first, it's usually the first link unless I have like a sponsor, but it usually is the first link or the second link in all of the descriptions of all my videos. It says in caps, send your fish tanks here. It's petscore.com. You're welcome. Such a confusing image. At first I thought that was a tarantula. Like they just basically just went ahead and put a tarantula underwater in a critter cage or something. But no, I think that's like a piece of wood and there's goldfish in that critter cage and it's underwater. And did I mention there's like 20 turtles? <laughs> what in the holy grail of disgusting fish tanks is this? Confused I am, Com confused I am I. The bonus secret comment of this episode is carpet. Bad fish keepers after adding a SpongeBob house to their fish bowl. Design is my passion. Yes. Every generic eight-year-old ever to exist. Thea's Pets coming in clutch with the premium fish tank review ticket on petscore.com. 100% chance of getting your fish tank onto an FTR. Go check it out. And boy, is this a fish tank. You got the twin tails and quite a few of them, maybe like seven or eight. Some of them are huge. Some of them are a little bit more juvenile, but they look healthy as anything. And that is a really, really big tank. This is doing it right. You got it planted. One of the only planted successful planted and huge tanks that looks clean with really healthy goldfish on this planet. Yes, one of the few, there's only a handful. And it's an island scape, very good choice. You know, it's a huge fish tank, so it's gonna be pretty hard to scape up the whole thing. So going for a island feel, as in concentrating your efforts right in the middle of the tank, very good choice, I would probably do it myself. Always makes me happy when there's beautiful, gorgeous, nice, massive goldfish. 4.5 out of 5, keep it up, Thea. My girlfriend's tank, 10 common goldfish and two iridescent sharks in a 55 gallon, but they get weekly maintenance from the store. Is it bad? What do you mean weekly maintenance from the store? That What store? Is someone from your local fish store coming to your girlfriend's house to maintain her fish tank every week? What? If you guys have that much money to burn, get a bigger tank. What? This is crazy. No, it's not big enough. What would you even ask that? Wout Nuits sent in their fishbowl and it's absolutely amazing. It's a bigger sized fishbowl than the generic size and it's got Anubius Barteri in it. There's like two pieces of beautiful Anubius Barteri. I don't even see any fish in there. There could be a betta or maybe some dither fish, but very nicely done. Fishbowl done right. And I love that cool rocket right beside it. I'm not sure what that's all about, but looking pretty rad, homie. 4.7 out of 5, keep it up. The worst I have ever seen on an aquarium group on Facebook talking about how much they love this fish. It shows. Oh, yes. You love this fish so much that you wanted to commit a Nemo and try to get out of your fish tank and into the wild rivers of the Amazon. You love it so much that you're subconsciously trying to save your fish from yourself, from your own fish abuse. Look at the layers of, what is that, cyanobacteria coupled with, how is, 
Is it possible to have mold underwater? Because that's what it looks like. That is actually worse than Nemo and the gang, like after they're belching and disgusting things, making the tank look absolutely horrible. This is worse than that. This might be the first time this fish has seen something else. I think that's a GoPro they're using to take that underwater shot. And it can't see outside of the glass because everything's covered in black. It's like a convict cichlid hybrid with a parrot cichlid. Yeah, definitely more convict. It's like a jail cell in here. This is a tank at a coworker's desk. Definitely not even five gallons. And in the past week or so, they added a second axolotl. Oh, I didn't see the second one for a hot second there. It's turning yellow. Is that normal? Maybe there are just naturally yellow axolotls, but I know what's not normal. The size of this tank. And I'm sure that substrate is not good for the axolotl either. This person did zero research, or maybe they did a lot of research and just doesn't care because they're a horrible human being. I'm sorry, should have put a warning for axolotl lovers because y'all get extra mad for this. And very rightly so. This is horrifying. Definitely rally together as an office space and give this person a talking to. Hey guys, the sponsor of this video is Squarespace. Nowadays, it's super easy and accessible for everyone to make a website, and I truly think everyone should own their own website. And Squarespace is a very beautiful and easy to use platform to make that happen. Connect with your audience and generate revenue through gated members only content. Manage your members, send email communications, and leverage audience insights all on one easy to use platform. Create a community on your Squarespace website with a fully integrated commenting system that supports threaded comments, replies, and likes. Use their powerful blogging tools to categorize, share, and schedule your posts as well. Extend Squarespace's already powerful e-commerce capabilities with Squarespace extensions. These new third-party tools can help you manage inventory, promote products, streamline bookkeeping, reconcile and file sales tags, and ship items across the globe. Display posts from your social profiles on your website. Automatically push website content to your favorite social media channels so your followers can share it too. So go to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, click on our exclusive link in the comments and description below to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Guys, welcome to the end of the video. Thank you so much for supporting this channel, watching it all the way through, and for always joining us for an FTR. Y'all know how to start your Mondays off right. Guys, the secret comment of this video is River Rock. Go look for the bonus secret comment somewhere else in this video. Make a cool little sentence with it. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button and subscribe. It's free and easy for you to do, and it really helps us out. Thank you so much for your support. See you in the comments. See you in the next video. Don't forget to get your hands wet. Tetra, 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 we in a spot coming in hot. Ventral fin dot, acclimate that. With my shoal at, cure my fin rod from Karasiformis to Parachirodon. Hold on, there's not another fish that you can wish for. Live famsas, I finna one. I finna gone three days without furt. I'm an addict, like fanatic. I'm a baddest, no tabs, only dirt. My Cory gang so loyal, black Tetra go skirt. We came to play, came to silence, gang.